for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. were dangerous to shipping before they placed lightships there to mark them. Lily Lightship was special. She was equipped with a loud foghorn and a bright light seen for miles around. I had the contract to keep her shipshape and operational, which kept Ten Cents and Sunshine busy. If they let her run out of fuel, a light would go out. I said we got you tomorrow. Show me gonna miss it, Lily. Yeah, it's my first one. Later that night, a thick fog came down. Lily thought she heard something. It was the throb of a tramp steamer rapidly approaching her through the dense fog. She sounded her horn again and again, but there was no reply. Then suddenly, out of the fog, the tramper appeared. With a sickening thud, it glanced her side, cutting a huge hole in it. The tramper sped towards Demda Rocks. It was going too fast to avert certain disaster. The tramper tore into the rocks, rested for a moment, then with an unhappy sigh slid backwards and sunk rapidly. Lily was now in a perilous condition. Water had seeped into her power room and her light fizzled out. All she could do now was wait for help. When dawn came, Lily couldn't see anyone to help her. Not much work done on regatta day. Suddenly, she saw bubbles on the water, quite close to her. It was Grampus, the small naval submarine. Mayday, Grampus, Mayday. What the? Lily, you're, you're... I'm sinking, Grampus, sinking. Please help me, please. Nasty hole, Lily, right on your water line. If I try to tow you in, you'll ship more water and sink. Well, go and get help, quick. Hmm. Just a minute. I've a better idea. If I can plug it with my nose, it might do the trick. No, you'll damage yourself. Don't worry about me, Lily. It's going to work. I'm stopping the bulk of the water getting in. You've already shipped quite a bit in here. I'm pumping out my ballast tanks to keep us afloat till real help comes. Oh, thank you, Grampus. Thank you. Help was indeed on its way. A small fishing boat had seen everything and was now speeding towards the port to inform the Coast Guard. Back at the Star Dock, preparations were afoot for the festival. Top Hat was amusing everyone with his antics when suddenly they were interrupted by a shrill whistle from the Coast Guard messenger. There's an emergency! Lily Lightship is sinking! The captain is correct! She is sinking! The Zeros can't help! So address yourself to the problem and get organized! Okay? That's it! You'll have to forget the festivities for a while! OJ, collect Mighty Mo! Ten cents! Get a timber box from Lucky's! Right, sir! Make wait, you two! Zoran, there's an emergency! Oh, it is with you! Lily's sinking! I need a timber barge fast. Yeah, oh, that one there will do. What? Uh, no, it won't. It's being unloaded for us. I'm taking it anyway. Complain to Captain Star if you want to. Despite the serious nature of Lily's accident, when Ten Cents arrived, he could hardly believe his eyes. It looked very funny to him. Oh, it looks like a tin fish round you, Lily. Very funny. It's okay, Grampus. Ten Cents will pull you out. Just hang on a while longer. Make it soon. My head's giving out. Now listen carefully. I'm going to lift Lily a bit. Ten cents, attach a line to Grampus. Okay, Grampus. On the count of three, ten cents will pull you free. One, 
Ten Cents was telling Big Mac about Lily and Grampus when he was interrupted by a shrill blast from the naval tug Bluenos, who liked to throw his weight about. Ahoy now! Ahoy! You now! What do you want? We can't stop him, I'm afraid. There's loads urgent. I quite understand, old man. But we are looking for one of our submarines. He is called Grampus. Yeah, I ain't seen him since we left Lucky's yard. He saved really likes it from sinking. So he's probably taking a well-deserved break somewhere. Ah, oh, that may be so. But he is one of ours, you know. He is not a civilian plaything. Okay, Blue Nose, that's enough. We haven't seen him, so make wake, okay? My work's important. Oh, your work's important. <laughs> what you need, laddie, is a lesson in naval discipline. Aha! Uh -huh. What has me here when... Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to blow me up today. Huh? That is correct. What? But he's been a hero out there with Lily, and you lot are going to blow him up. That's some kind of thing. Ah, you civilian lot may not understand this, but us naval types know when we are past it. Instead of rotting in some breaker's yard, we volunteer us for gunnery practice. Targets, you know. But that's not fair. He's still a useful submarine. He does lots of things for us. For you, maybe. For us, he's old and out of date. Now, I can't stand around here and join with you all day. Maywark's important. Big Mac will understand that, will you, sir? Mm -hmm. Come on, Grampus. Back to base. Target practice at 1,400 hours. Grampus! Yes. Grampus, don't go! Dive and hide! It's no use. They catch up with me again somewhere. Thanks for all the fun we had together. Bye, Ten Cents. Bye. Bye. Listen, we can't let this happen. I'll handle the parties. You go off and find OJ. Tell him about Grampus. He'll know what to do. Right, Big Mac. Ten Cents rushed off to find OJ. Every minute was valuable now, especially as a plan had to be devised. He used every ounce of steam to speed across the port and was soon at the Star Dog. OJ, they're gonna blow Grampus! Who is? Bruno's in the Navy. He said so, at 1400 hours today. I'll do something, OJ. Big Mac said you'd know what to do. OJ explained his plan to them both. Ten Cents was sent to Lucky's yard and once again had to confront the snarling Zoran. Not again. What is it this time? See this barge with logs on it? Well, we need it. Yeah, he needs it, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm taking it anyway. Oi, just leave it there. Oh, no, no, really. no, that is the plan. It'll work, but it may be dangerous. Yes, well, I don't know if we should interfere, really. But we must. He's our friend. Friends are valuable, man. Oh, all right, then. One for all and all for one. Now, let's get on with it. I don't want to miss the regatta, especially as I'm leading it. Ah, ten cents. Good. Big Mac, now that, that is the log barge. Ten cents, put a big white flag at each end of it. Hurry, time's running out. Roy. Well, Grampus, you've been a very good submarine. Oh, we're all sad to see you go. But as you know, the Navy's got no further use for such a small vessel. Proud to have been of service, sir. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like some time to think. Oh, very well. And good luck, Lydia. If the modern Navy's gonna be like him, I'd be better off down with the fishes. Why are they blazing out here? They're gonna be in the line of fire. Stay clear! What do you mean? And get a direct hit! No! Thank you very much! I'm not the power! Keep going, Top Hunt! The more of us here, the safer we are! Get clear! They're about to start firing! Yes, boys! Grampus, just do as I say! Give him a line! Ten cents! Oh, I have joy! Big Mac will leave the barge in your place. Let's hope all they see from that distance is the target flag. Right? Keep moving! The Navy's not going to like this! Just leave me here or you'll all get into trouble. Please, don't do it!
Home at last. Now, where do we hide Grampus? Oh, no, here's that awful Zorro, this cronies. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here? Move aside, Top Hat, and let me see. Mind your own business, Zoran. I am. This is my business. I'm looking for my timber. Well, it is near. Just back off and leave us alone. All we've got here is our float for the show. <laughs> Some float, hey? Stealing government property, eh? Nice little number, boys. Very nice, eh? Move it, Zoran, old boy. Uh, only a game, you understand, Hercules? I know all about your game, Zoran. Beat it and take your driftwood with you. Oh, I'm going to. You'll hear about it from the Navy. Don't worry. I'll go and see if Captain Star will get the Navy to spare Grampus. Take on the Navy. Worth a try. Go on, Grampus. You go with Top Hat. Well, come on, my dears. The rest of us will join the parade. What are you? What are you? Yes, sir. Uh, let's do a big check. Barge competing with colourful oil drums and streamers. Yes. His lordship's pick and span. Yes. The check wearing colourful hat. Yes. Good. Well, that is it. I just don't believe this. What are they going to say when they see this junkie? <laughs> Well, I like them better. Municipal garbage, which is your <laughs> On your way now, and good luck. Thank you, sir. It's been uh, uh, a most enjoyable day. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Princess Alice welcoming you to the annual regatta. The parade will start. This year, Top Hat from the Starfleet will lead off. Enjoy yourselves. Here goes Top Hat, followed by shipmates OJ, Big Mac, and Warrior, all doing splendid bargains. They're followed by Zack from the Zero Fleet, towing the Corporation Lightship. Here comes Sip and Zug, the Zero Switchers, towing a new upriver breakfast, wood and bananas. <laughs> Following them comes a colourful group, Ten Cents and Sunshine, towing Little Ditcher and Sally Seaplane. Hello, Sally. And Hercules just by himself. Never mind, Hercules. Maybe next year, okay? Coming from the famous Bridge Cafe is Zoran, towing the loudest barge of the day. Nice music, guys. Very nice music. Well done, everyone. You all look splendid. The Princess Alice considers this to be the best year yet. This means, and hold it, yes, that you've all won a prize. Okay, okay, thanks to you all. Now, enough parading, let's get this party going! When night time came, OJ gathered all the other star tugs around him outside Lucky's yard. None of them really knew what was going on. All right, Lily, do your bit. Hello, boys. They repaired me in record time so I could see the regatta. <gasps> you look splendid. Oh, thank what are you. you? <laughs> oh, it's Krampus and he's got the star flag. They didn't blow me up today. The Navy sold me to Captain Star, so I'm one of you now. I told the Navy about my tugs rescuing Krampus. I said I'd buy him. He turned out to be a real bug. <laughs>
To run a fleet of tugs, you have to be prepared to take on any job. One of the most difficult and dangerous was handling the big naval munition ships. On this day, I remember Hercules had towed the naval tramper Krakatoa in from the base up the coast. Usually a familiar and safe routine. But it had been a rough journey, real rough. And as if that wasn't enough, he had to suffer Blue Nose, the officious naval tug. Attention! Attention! You Hercules! Attention nothing. I'm finished here, old darling. Moving out. And uh, you don't know to let check things out. Check all you like, sweetheart. I'm needed elsewhere. You stand under me orders. Obey orders. You eat the me may in special. I am under orders. Captain Stars. So don't you try and tell me what to do, Blue Nose old thing. Uh-huh. We'll see about that letter. Hercules. Here. Wait. Stay right where you are. There is an order. Hello. <sighs> Upstart civilian. I'll get you in a naval convoy one day and I'll teach you a lesson or two. And then you'll know what orders are all about. Yuck. That Blue Nose. He's orders mad. Orders come before common sense in naval terms. Uh, I better Barney with him too, Hercules. Keep those boys in line, he shouts. As if I haven't done this job every naval exercise. Report to me when you're finished, he says. Thinks I'm too old for this work, he does. Hey, hey, do you know what they're doing? They're loading munitions and taking fuel aboard the same ship. <laughs> Dangerous seamanship, that is. Well, O.J., my dear, I'm going to have me a bit of a rest of the cold depot. It's been a hard tow and I feel a bit low. Yeah, oh, oh. Keep them in line, straight as a row of marines. I'll check them after I've done my inspection. We should work together, not fight each other. Ahoy there! Ahoy there! You! Oi! You! Red thing! Collect some fire barges and proceed to the fire practice area now! I'm standing by, waiting for orders to proceed to the old duck. And those orders are cancelled, and I am in charge. Fire practice now! And I don't leave it till I tell you. Do I make myself clear? And now move! Faster they flame, faster they flame! Aye aye, sir. The Z-Stacks were upriver at the munitions factory. They were there to collect explosives for the Navy. It was a very dangerous operation, but worth a great deal of money to Captain Zero, who had put Zoran in charge. Now listen, you two. Towing this lot's the tricky bit. Zack, move off first. Right. Go slow and don't take any nonsense from the star mob. Show them explosives don't scare us. If they come too close, just blow them up! Yeah, but with your hooter, dummy. No silly games, okay? You don't have to be that brave. Okay, Zorin! Sir! And watch out for the naval twerp, Blue Nose. Your job is to deliver that barge directly to the naval tramper Krakatoa. If Blue Nose gives you different orders, ignore him and refer him to me. Just keep it steady. Keep flying that danger flag. Deputy, next! That Blue Nose told me he was in charge and that I must obey orders. You are mine, remember that. I remember that, Zoran, sir. Eat your heart out, Star Tugs. <laughs> right, easy does it. You're in my way and you're idle. I don't like idle tugs, so move and move fast, there's an order. Oi! Oi! You naval twit! You scraped a brand new barge deliberately! I gave an order to move out of my way. This harbour is the most undisciplined I've ever worked in. If I order you to jump, you jump. That barge is conscripted for a naval purpose. And if I want to scrape it, I will. It's about time you fancy stars started living up to your name. Now, get some steam in your boiler and start turning your screw. Mobilization, that is what I want. Mobilization! Oi! Oi, you, come back here! Night came down fast. Dock lights helped Big Mickey transfer explosives to the naval tramper Krakatoa. The Zed stacks were moored off. All were shot of their dangerous loads except Zoran, now being unloaded. One last minute slip up could mean disaster. I'll be glad to get rid of this lot. Attention! Attention! Ain't what mean me, mister, do you? Yeah, you, mister. Move that barge. My load's fast. You shouldn't move a barge that's being unloaded. Well, stop unloading it. Big Mickey, stop your looking in my barge. My priority, right now. Yeah, what's going on? Schedule says I'm next. Uh, don't you start, laddie. Wait your turn. Watch him. Yeah, I'm coming alongside. 
This barge has to be unloaded. I've got orders too. Whose orders? Captain Starr's orders. I'm coming alongside. Ha oh, ha, we'll see about that. Now, just move aside and let me through. Bruno, stay back. That barge is unsafe. Do not give me orders. If I want to move, I move. I told you to move it. Now, look what's happened there, you dummy. Oh, no, that engine's quick. I'm in charge. Stay where you are. No way. I know what's on that barge. Get clear. The whole thing's gonna blow. Stay where you are. Emergency, emergency. Clear the area immediately. Stay still and obey order. Move out, move out. Save yourselves. Ten cents. Cut your barge rope and pull free. My barge is clear, but Bruno is blocking the way. I know what to do. Stay still and do nothing. Oh, come on, Bruno's. Cast off. Let's get out of here. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't be a fool, Ten Cents. Get out of there! He's right, move! He's got himself into this. Leave him! It's too dangerous, Ten Cents! You're coming with me, Blue Nose! Keep going, Ten Cents! Keep going! The trap is on fire! It'll blow any second! Do you mute me? They've got me my orders, and that order says I am looting fuel out! You can load all you want after I get you out of here. Hey, OJ, okay. what shall I do with him? Put him at the back. Out the way. We don't want any more of his orders. Why? This is a mutiny. Take me back immediately. Obey orders. Obey orders. Orders is orders. <laughs> He gets it right, otherwise he'll sink us all. Big Mickey! Oh, he's done it. He's falling sideways. And lying in shallow water saved Big Mickey from both fire and explosion. It took real skill to make that move. He saved us all for sure. But the fire's getting out of control. Deliver the siren for sure. The fire tug will reach us any minute. Just wish it were here now. Fire tug won't be much good. Look at that trap! Someone's having a dockside celebration. No, no. If there was a party, I would have been invited. Perhaps they don't need a long-necked highbrow. <laughs> <laughs> Very droll. Certainly wouldn't want low lives like you there. I suppose that. Emergency! Emergency! Get them tied up and follow on top of it. Might need all hands. Yeah, top hat, follow on! Fire at the old dock! The tugs could only watch helplessly as foreign explosions in the tramper spread to dangerous chemicals on the dockside. Isn't there anything we can do? Like what, dummy? Anyway, you've done your bit. Just sit back and watch. But it's spreading! And that means puff of the dockside will go up! You're right, Ten Cents. Come on, everyone! Shout and warn Puffer! Go on, Puffer! Go on, Puffer! Go on, Puffer! Will you get over there, Puffer? That's all we needed. The petrol's caught fire. And that tank's fully loaded. I must try and get it out to sea. Don't do it. Stay back. If that blows, it'll take you with it. Boy, it's really hot. Uh, there's no chance getting a line on it. What does he think he's doing? Don't know, but rather him than me. Huh? <laughs> oh, huh? It's about time you turned up. Sunshine, get the fire barge and start dust in that building. It's gonna blow any second. Not me with you, sir. We've got to try and stop the fire from spreading. I'm taking this out to sea, Sunshine. Take care. What's those flames back there? Hey, what you've got there looks far more dangerous than me. I'll have a bomb, man. Just leave it, will ya? I'll leave be it. okay. Not the chat. Sunshine, get that barge working. Steer it between the flames and swing it round. Yes, sure. Fire, fire. 
Just in time, Warner. You? Use your fire hose on that barge and the oil yard. Quick! Yes, sir. Right away, sir. I'll do me best, sir. Hey, the building's on fire now. Oh, I can't seem to stop it. It's oh. Just keep playing water on it, sunshine! Stop the spring! Stop the spring! Warrior, get out of there! It's gonna blow! I can control it, sir, don't worry! Well... I've got to look after Papa. He's a mighty valuable and good friend. Got to look after your friends, you know. Oh, this is getting too dangerous. <coughs> the tank's blistering badly. Oh no, it's dying to smoke. It's gonna go any second. I've got to get out of here. Ten seconds. It's ten seconds. The oil barge. I must have stay put, sunshine. You're needed here. But he might need help! Just stay where you are! Stand clear, everyone! Stand clear! She's going! The final explosion tore the tramper apart. Much to the horror of the watching tires, to Blue Nose it seemed a nightmare. Look at the state of the dockside. Yeah, that's nothing compared with what could have happened. If Sunshine and Warrior hadn't contained the fire, it could have easily spread to the city. Well done, all of you. Oh dear. Seems I'm too late to save the day. What a pity. <laughs> well, well, well. Get a drift of that, will you, lads? Top hat, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, you look very nice. <laughs> Ten cents should have been back by now. We must all salute a very brave tug who saved us from... Hey, I know that whistle. It's... It's Ten Cents! Ten Cents, what a mess! What happened? Well, just after I started reversing, it blew to smithereens. Nearly took me with it. Lights went out, water in the engine. I didn't know if I could make it back. But thanks to Grandpa's, I did. Yeah, you're the luckiest tug around, lad. And probably the bravest, too. Well, I've been used for a few strange jobs before, but never have I brought in a switcher and taken away a twitcher. <laughs> that all happened because of a few hasty words and bad tempers. Orders may be orders, but they blinded Blue Nose from using simple common sense and from keeping level-headed. So, a tiny incident grew into a big disaster, and the old dock was left in ruins. We should have the greatest respect for fire. Just think what might have happened to Ten Cents and his friends, just because Blue Nose didn't. Entertainment. Entertaining families worldwide.